Hello, I'm Jonathan Milam and I'm going to do a brass comparison. I've actually got two flugelhorns that I'm going to be playing. This is a Getson Eterna and this is an E.M. Winston. Neither of them are uh, going to break the bank, but I'll tell you what, the E.M. Winston is a real surprise. Very decent flugel. The only thing about uh, the horn, to my way of thinking, that would be a concern is I believe they uh, put their name on instruments that other people make. Uh, there's a term for that which slips in my mind at the moment. But uh, I believe this flugelhorn was made by Werrell, W-E-R-I-L. And a very, very decent flugel. I picked it up for almost nothing used, and I think it's good. However, once you've heard, you'll have your own ability to decide. Okay, I'll play uh, just a bit of a song real quickly and uh, we'll see what it sounds like. I'll try and play the same thing, just about the same way, on um, first of all the Wero flugelhorn and then the Getsen Eterna. the same thing on the Gets and Eterna. The Getzen Eterna is a large bore, it's a .460, probably a little easier blow. The Werrell, I believe, is going to be more of a .433, kind of your intermediate style, like a lot of the uh, older Yamaha 6 and 7 series horns. Now, we'll try some uh, low range to compare the two and uh, see how they sound. This is the Getzen Eterna. <laughs> down to our F sharp and we'll try the same thing with the Werrell and we'll try from a C in the staff to the high C which is about as high as I can go on a flugel and turn it. All right, gets an Eterna and a E.M. Winston, which I've referred to a lot as a Werrell, but the E.M. Winston made by Werrell. Hope you've enjoyed this. Hope you've enjoyed the comparison. Have a great day.